गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑफ योर कंप्यूटर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद चैप्टर नंबर नाइन द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंटरनेट इन दिस चैप्टर वी वुड बी लर्निंग अबाउट वॉट इज इंटरनेट वॉट आर इट्स यूजेज the different terms related to internet and how you can browse for a website or how you can find the things on internet we would like to attract you towards these two pictures here children are being connected to each other with their hands they are making a loop similarly here computers are being connected to a central part these connections help the computers to communicate with each other or to transfer and collect data from each other so let's start with the paragraph all the children in figure 9.1 are holding hands that means they are connected and when they are connected they are capable of communicating receiving and transferring in the same way computers can be connected computers are connected to form a network a collection of connected computer networks is spread all over the world we have a connection due to which different computers at different part of the world are being connected and what is this connection called as it is called the internet what is internet the internet is a global network of computers it link it links millions of people business government offices and educational institutions the word internet stands for interconnected network internet stands for it is important what is internet stands for it stands for interconnected network internet how we can connect to a internet at your home you have seen a small black color box or white color box which is known as modem okay we will be discussing about them so a modem to connect to an internet we should have a internet service provider for examples <coughs> for examples many telecom companies are providing this services like airtel bsnl reliance jio these are the internet service providers that means these companies will provide you the internet facility so how it works let's see internet service provider that is the companies they have a channel or a wired internet connection by using your phone lines the connection reaches to your home with the help of modem which further provides facility to your computer system or the laptops or the internet enabled devices what is a modem it is a device needed to connect your computer to the internet service provider <coughs> internet service provider like the companies airtel reliance mtnl bsnl these companies provides the internet connection and a particular device modem is required at your home part 
which will connect the uh, outer network lines with your inner home devices. Then we have internet service provider that is the ISP companies. These are the organization or this is an organization that provides internet services. Some of them are Airtel, Reliance, MTNL and BSNL. These are the companies which basically provides internet connection to the user. Then we have what are the uses of internet. Uses of internet. Internet nowadays have a lot of uses. The top most important of them is to search information. People, students, everyone in search of any uh, information, the first step of them is to search it on net or internet. So many people, students, working businessmen, employees, whenever they require an information, for ease of access, the first topmost priority is internet. You have also seen whenever your uh, brother or your uh, father wants any information or mother wants any information, they just click on Google to get those information. So to search the information, the internet contains information on million and million of topics. You can find information, guidelines, definitions on literally every topic because internet contains uh, information on millions of millions topic. Okay, you can't imagine also such topics are also available. Theories, experiments, stories, such kind of things are available on internet which provides useful information for the user. So Sahil is a student and he uses the internet to search the information. Like Sahil is a student, he uses internet to gain uh, to gain knowledge over the topics which are being studied in school or which he might find little bit difficult to understand. Internet provides many of the uh, many uh, ways to provide the information in attractive manner so that a user can access it. The second use of internet is to send emails. In the old days, we were used to send mails, letters, which was being carried by a postman and take much time to reach to the destination. But by using this facility that is email, the mails are being delivered to the uh, required person within seconds. It does not get deferred by the distance like if in the previous time if a letter has been sent from America to India it would take time to reach to you but in today's scenario if we send a mail whether it is in USA Canada Russia or anywhere else in the world it will be delivered or reached to him within few seconds the condition is they should have a proper internet connection so Namit uses the internet to quickly send a message to his friend from his computer you have seen nowadays whatsapp and many apps are also there messaging apps which helps to deliver the message to a person who is sitting thousands of miles away from you within few seconds <coughs> 